Good afternoon children. Welcome you all to the science videos in standard 5 to continue the lesson 3 year. Today topic is airborne disease caused by virus. Common cold, chicken paws, missiles, influenza, mumps. They are caused by virus. This disease are spread through air. So this is our airborne disease. Today we are going to learn one by one, one by one about uh, this disease. First disease, common cold. Common cold is a viral infection that affects the upper respiratory tract, but also affects the throat and the sinus. The common cold primarily affects the nose. On average, adult is infected two to three times a year, while an average child may get cold six to eight times a year, depending on their age and the exposure. The common cold is the mostly frequently occurring infection disease in the world affecting humans. Over 200 cold virus gets it, but the most common, but but the most common that is thought to be responsible for all at least 5% of cold is the rhinovirus. Rino rhino the common cold caused by rhinovirus. The virus name is rhinovirus. The common cold is prevalent during the fall, winter, spring. This season only most of the people affect the cold. Now we see symptoms of common cold. First symptom, sore throat, cough, sneezing, runny or stained nose, loss of smell or taste, difficulty in breathing. These are the symptoms of common cold. Now, now we are going to see the, how, how it spread. The virus can also spread through droplet in the air after infected individually seeing cough or talk and also it spread by hand to hand contact. The other virus that can lead to cold include coronavirus, adenovirus, respiratory virus. This these three virus also affected in your infected in your body. The first symptom is cold. How we cure this common cold is we take the medicine uh, for and home remedies. Next disease chicken pox. Chicken pox it's an infectious disease caused by the varicella zoster virus. It can cause an intestinal blister, B L I S T R blister. Blister means skin to skin covered by rashes or liquid filled balloons, bubbles, liquid filled bubbles that are first appear on the chest, face, and back. The rash spread all over the body, causing over 250 blisters. The chicken pox is extremely contagious and can spread easily in a household or to those with a weakened, Im weakened immune system. Now we see the symptoms of chicken pox. Extremely th thickly rash, fever, headache and swollen, swollen glands. Now we see how we spread. Transmission. Mode of transmission. Chicken pass is transmitted from person to person by directly touching the blister, saliva or moves of an infected person. The virus can also be transmitted through air by scoffing and sneezing. Chicken pox can be spread indirectly by touching contaminating items freshly solid such as clothing from an infected person. Direct contact with the blister of a person with the sickness can cause chicken pox in a person who has never had chicken pox and not been vaccinated. Blisters that are dry and crusted are no longer available to spread chicken pox. How now treatment? How can you prevent chicken pox? We wash hands with the soap, extremely often visiting public places. 
avoid direct contact with infected or recently infected people use mask uh, use gloves and mask while taking care of people with the chicken pox maintain a healthy lifestyle to boost your immunity levels Va- vaccination vaccination you speak to your doctor vaccination you have to put injection you have to put in your body to fight this virus against to fight this virus next disease mumps mumps are present in, in the in mouth area mumps is an extremely concrete viral infection they mostly affect the salivary gland the which belongs to a family of virus known as paramicrovirus paramycovirus these only affect create the mumps the these virus are commonly source of infection particularly in children when we get mumps the virus move from your respiratory tract your nose and mouth symptoms of mumps fever loss of appetite headache muscular pain when eating pain pain in ears jaw chin uh, chin pain on both side how we protect from mumps protected by vaccination for infants in 9 to 12 month then mumps is constantly children how it spread is spread through cough, coughing and sneezing touching object or surface with the unwashed hand this way only the mumps will be spread to one person to another the best prevention now we see the prevention the best way to prevent mumps is throw on mmr vaccination then follow these steps the mumps is not spread do not sell item that may have saliva saliva on them cover your cloth cough and sneeze wash your hand often and thoroughly with the soap and water clean and didn't infect a shared surface stay home if you are sick contact your provider for treatment next measles measles is a, uh, this look like the rashes but mm, rashes these are created by a viral infection the virus name is rubella 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 the symptom of measles rash of tiny red spot ear ear infection red eye runny nose coughing and diarrhea these are the symptoms of measles this how its measles spread Measles is highly contagious and spread easily when an infected person breathes or coughs. The measles virus can live for up to 2 hours on a surface or in the area air where the infected person coughed or sneezed if other people breathe the contaminated air or touch the infected surface and then touch their eye their eyes nose or mouth they can become infected measles measles is also is so contagious that is if an individual has measles up to 9 in 10 of their close contact who are not not immune will also become infected which you don't know which have person have in measles you sit near the measles infected person it definitely affect that virus how you have now we have to prevent how to prevent the children from this virus you have prevent your child with safe and long lasting pre- prevention against measles by making sure they get the measles mumps rubella vaccine according to the cdc recommend immunity immunization schedule in the childhood in the children you when you affected that time you put this vaccine again this this is not affected you next in influenza 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 virus flu virus 
influenza the commonly referred to as the flu is an flu flu is an in, infectious disease caused by rna virus of the family orthomycovirty the influenza virus they affected birds and mammals also the this virus affected humans then animals and birds also mammals mammal animal the most common symptoms of disease and uh, most common symptoms of disease are chills fever sore throat muscle pain severe headache severe severe headache coughing weakness and general discomfort this uh, disease will attack only the childhood times influenza now we see the symptoms of influenza general headache systematic fever usually high muscular muscular extremely tiredness joints aches and runny or stinging nose sore throat aches respiratory mm, coughing then vomiting these are the symptoms of influenza now see how we treat spread by airborne respiratory droplets by skin to skin contact by saliva by touching a contaminated surface this is the way this disease will spread to others now how to prevent washing your hand regular, regularly avoid large crowd specifically during a flu outbreak cover your mouth and nose when you are cough or sneeze stay in home if you are de- develop a fever and for at least 24 hour after it goes up away these are the disease caused by virus now we see how prevention of airborne disease how we prevention avoid over crowd places stay away from people people down with viral infection use disposable tissues avoid handkerchief cover mouth nose while coughing or sneezing with wash your hand thoroughly avoid touching the face or other people with unusual hands timely vaccination take can prevent the disease maintain personal hygiene avoid close contact with the people who have active symptoms of disease okay this way you follow the disease is not attract you now let us quickly recall in this section today let us quickly recall in today what we learn we learn five types of viral disease common cold influenza uh, measles mumps and chicken pox children i hope that you would understand this section thank you have a nice day